All right, this is Steve Martin, Love for His People, and I am here with John Ebenezer, Pastor John from near Hyderabad, India. Tell us, John, a little bit about what you are doing over there. Well, I was born and brought up in the village. My parents are converted Christians. I'm a Dalit Christian, but by the grace of God, Western missionaries came to India, my villages. They have changed my grandfather and my father and myself and they gave me free education. With that, I am able to come over here. If I have not any free education, I have no way to survive. I am a Dalit person. Nobody will touch me in India. Even though today, Dalit people there, nobody will touch. In India, they worship 333 million gods, but we worship only one living Lord Jesus Christ. I thank the missionaries who gave me education, who gave me a light. So my concern, my vision is this. I want to give the light what I received from Jesus Christ to show to the unknown people of Jesus Christ. Because they do not know, they worship only dead gods. They worship living Lord Jesus Christ. In 1964, Youth Worker Director Dr. J. Kessler came to my city of Hyderabad. There we have a youth meeting. There, because of his testimony, I received Jesus Christ as my personal savior. And I compared myself to serve the Lord Jesus Christ. And through the help of one of my friends from Japan, I built a couple of churches. And I have a ministry in my village of Kamam district. I have work working among the tribals, the Hindus and Muslims, and children too. And I have now 33 widows and 44 children whom we are supporting, little, little, not so much. My great vision to have boarding house and widow's care center in, in Kamam district because there is a need for the Hindu people to bring to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you help, any Indian will definitely change his life. So my concern to have children's home and widow's home in Kamam. So please pray for that. I am so happy to have a friend like Steve Martin. He helps me a lot. If anybody gives a donation, he accepted and he gives a tax as a receipt for you. So you please generously support our ministry in India. Bring many souls to the body of Christ. We have to change what God changed me from darkness to the light. So let your light so shine before all the men that they may see your good works and go to your Father. So I, we have to glorify our Father who is in heaven. Let my heart be broken with the things that break the heart of God. This is my best proverb I learned from the Dr. Bob Pierce, who is the founder of the World Vision and Samaritan Purse. So through his vision, I learned so much. By that, I am going forward by the grace of God. My vision is this, to have children's home and widow's home to help for the poor of the poor people in rural villages. In my village where I am living, there is no medical facility, there is no electricity, there is no running water. My house is not air-conditioned, even my church also not air-conditioned. I work with the Hindus, high caste people. In my church, I have 20 families of high caste people. They accepted Jesus Christ and baptized. And in tribal village, so many Lombarda people, they accepted. I built a couple of churches in every village. With the help of the friends in America, I dug a few couple of wells also. So with that, water is very much needed in my villages since there is no any rain 13 months. So please pray for India that every soul should not die without knowing Lord Jesus Christ. Everyone know that Jesus is Lord. I thank you all hearing this message. Pray for India and welcome to India and God opens doors for you and support my ministry to help the children and the widows for the boarding house and daycare center and school for the children. May God bless you and He will be with you and with me. So we reach many, many souls to bring into the body of Christ. I thank God He changed my life. So let us change the Hindu people's life in my country, in India. God bless you. Thank you very much. John, when I come over in February of next year, what will we be doing? Well, everybody knows about Jesus Christ, but nobody knows about Israel. I feel 
too happy to say that you please teach about the Israel and the religion and Jewish people and Christian people or to my people in different places. I have to take one state called Chhattisgarh, which is one of the dangerous places to travel for white people. I am sure you are the only one American entering into that state with help of our friends. All right, and we'll have uh, some conferences with pastors gathered. Yes. We are going to have conference in Mucharla and Chhattisgarh and Enkuru and Namalpa uh, and uh, uh, Sulanagaram. So three, four places we are going to have each two today's. Well, that sounds exciting. Well, thank you, John. I appreciate you coming, and we do support you here in the U.S., and we are very happy to uh, be part of what you're doing in India. Uh, thank you very much, Steve that you are a great resources for me and you are standing with me. If you stand only, I'm able to work. If you don't stand, I have to die. With your help and prayers and support, I'm going forward. I believe that God will bring many souls to the body of Christ and I believe get many sponsors. I need 7,000 prayer intercessors to pray for my country of India to change. We need revival. We need Holy Spirit bring many souls in that nation. Please pray for India. We need 7,000 intercessors to pray for India. Very good. Please contact anything to Steve Martin. If you have any send to donation, you please note Love for His People India. Send to Steve Martin, 121 20 Wood Falls Road Church. 1220 Woodside Falls Road, Road, Pineville, North North Carolina. Carolina. Two eight one three four. Oh. That's it. That's twelve twelve zero, Woodside Falls Road, Pineville, North Carolina. Two eight one three four. Yeah. Thank you, John. Thank you very much, Steve. Shalom. 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 <laughs> okay.